Yeah, may I please have an Egg McMuffin meal? Can I have one chicken biscuit and a uh, order of Bow Rounds, please? Yes, may I please have a dozen mixed donuts? Did I tell you guys the diet was over? If not, well, it's over. So we got ourselves a dozen donuts and I asked them for mixed donuts assuming they'd give me one of each flavor like every other donut shop on the planet. But no, Dunkin' Donuts decides to give me four of the worst donuts of all time. Well, I guess glaze isn't too bad, but pretty disappointed. I expected better from you, Dunkin'. I should have been more specific. It's on me. We picked up some Bojangles, the best fast food of all time, McDonald's. We even got a sandwich from Dunkin'. Now, for those of you who have not been following along, I have been running a mini cut all of January, I tried to get rid of some of that holiday weight and it was very, very successful. I lost about five pounds, exactly what I was looking to do, but I just feel like I'm in a position now where I need to get back into the bulk so I can have another successful cut when I decide to take the cut a little bit deeper. It can actually make it appear as if I lift. So for a few more months, we're gonna start bulking again. And then you know what? I think I'm gonna enjoy every single day. Now, I am not a big proponent of the dirty bulk. I prefer to still keep it, you know, semi-healthy. It's not just going to be donuts and fast food all day, unless I need a title and a thumbnail for my YouTube video, because then, you know, you gotta mess with the algorithm a little bit. So, because I gotta take one for the team, I'm at least going to enjoy some bow jangles. The bow rounds, guys. The bow rounds are the best hash browns on the earth, and I'm about to prove that because I'm gonna compare it to McDonald's, which is another great hash brown, but this thing, what is that? I really do love living in the South. Now, don't get me wrong, my friends. This right here, this is an all-American classic. I will never complain about a McDonald's hash brown, but when you compare that to a bow round, I'm telling you, anyone that has a Bojangles near them, you understand. But nothing is ever going to outshine the chicken biscuit. I really think... This is the best thing I've ever had out of a fast food establishment. It is just... Oh my gosh. The biscuit, man. Mmm. Bojangles is just special. I'm from the Midwest, so I am not used to this much flavor. And in the South, you know, they just put butter in everything. And every now and again, you just have to enjoy it, especially if you're still on a bulking cycle where you have a little bit more room to kind of go over the top. Because I'll tell you what, this is not fitting in anybody's macros. But I just, I just can't get away from it. Anytime I have a day like this, we're going straight to Bojangles. Now, for those that are not fortunate enough to live in an area that has a Bojangles, yes, the Egg McMuffin will be just fine. You know, this thing, this is a great sandwich. No complaints about this whatsoever. But when you compare this to a Bojangles biscuit, you just you just can't really. I mean, it's it's night and day. It's potatoes and tomatoes when you think about it. I don't know what the YouTube channel is, but every time I do a video where I'm just eating in my car, I think about that guy who just chugs stuff. It is amazing that he can chug a two liter in like three seconds. The guy has like over a million subscribers. So maybe I should just sit in my car and eat like the Hodge twins back in the day. Anyway, but we are not going to leave out our vegans here. So I saw they had a Beyond Sausage Sandwich at Dunkin' now, which, hey, I am all for inclusiveness. So let's see how they can do with this guy over here. Well, I guess it's not vegan, it's vegetarian because there's cheese on there. So if I'm ranking them worst to best, well, I guess I should rank best to worst, but this would be the worst, but it's really, Okay, so you all tell me you just end a little cut, you're going into a bulk, where's the first restaurant that you're going? For me, it definitely would not be fast food typically, but I just figured this would be quick and easy. I got a busy day. I want to get home to Alfie. I can't wait to show you guys Alfie. This is going to be the first food video he's in. So for some of you guys that only watch my food videos, it's going to be the first time that you get to see him. He is the most beautiful little puppy of all time. But first place I would go, Benchwarmer's Bagels here in Raleigh. Oh my goodness. And 
all of my OGs should already know the biggest life hack in the world. Get a cold brew, get one sample pack, or if you just bring the whole tub of your PD Science Select Cafe, this is going to make the best pre-workout drink of all time. And you guys can save 15% using Travis at PDScience.com. You will never drink coffee the same ever again. Caffeine and rap music go together like lamb and tuna fish. This new Roddy Rich album is perfect for the gym, although I'm not really looking forward to this workout considering I just had thousands of calories of fast food. And that's another thing I don't like about dirty bulking. It is not optimal for your energy levels and your performance. That just makes me want to go take a nap. So for the most of us, I don't think that's necessary at all to eat on a regular basis. Now I know that some people are huge proponents of the dirty bulk. They say just get in as much food as you can, take care of the cut when that comes. I just don't think that's the best way to go about it for the majority of people. And the number one reason I think is because nothing matters more than your performance in the gym. And that all starts with how you're fueling your body. So if you're putting fast food in it every single day, I don't know that it's going to give you the best results. But that's just my opinion. But luckily for me, it is deload week, so nothing too strenuous. I'll probably warm up with like 15 to 20 minutes of cardio just to try to get to feeling good again. And then I'm gonna rush through the workout so I can get home to Meg and Alfie. I know what you're thinking, guys. How do you get your arms to look so jacked? Well, it's not the McDonald's. It's surely not this exercise. It all comes down to the right t-shirt. And thankfully, my buddy Zan was nice enough to send me out some Zenny Athletics, which I really like the fit. So if you guys are interested, check him out. Zan's a good guy. Look who woke up from their nap. How are you? I missed you. Are you still sleepy? <laughs> He's like, Dad, I'm not ready to wake up. He is the most amazing dog ever, isn't he? <laughs> he is. And the most amazing dog mom ever right here. <laughs> Megan has been holding it down. It's been great. It's been great. <laughs> no complaints, right? Yeah. <laughs> Except for your carpet that probably needs to run away. And this is where we are sitting post mini cut about 180 pounds and after all the McDonald's and Bojangles. So all in all, not too bad. Let's see how this compares to me in about a month or two. Anyway, enough shirtless Travis. Let's get back to the food. <laughs> No matter what you're doing, bulking, cutting, maintaining, you need the Pea Science Fudge Brownie Protein Bars in your life. I eat one of these every single day. And just check out, check out the texture here. This is why I love it. It just tastes like a gooey, a gooey candy bar loaded with protein and fiber though. Mm. Now, to start getting more aggressive with my bulk, I am gonna raise my calories pretty close to 3,000, which for me, someone with a big appetite, not gonna be any problem eating quote unquote clean foods to get there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do my next video on, on my normal 3,000 calorie bulking diet so you guys get a better idea for what that looks like. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please drop this video a like and I will absolutely get that done for you guys. But if you are the rare minority that just has trouble eating food, Foods. Maybe you need to have a little bit more dirty foods to reach your calorie goal. But I think for most of us, I mean, 3,000 isn't that much food, especially with foods like peanut butter and oatmeal and things that are a little bit more calorically dense, but still not terrible for you. Either way, I'm gonna enjoy this. I will eat this probably until the day I die. All right, my friends, we have some special guests in town to visit Alfie. And when you have special guests, you get special food. And in this case, it is Mellow Mushroom, one of the best pizza joints of all time. And they have them in almost every city, I think. And I've heard that they're all different from city to city. I've only had them in Ohio, but I'm super excited to try the North Carolina one. <laughs> For those who have not had the pleasure of going to Mellow Mushroom, here is what you are working with. It is absolutely amazing pizza. Just 
can't wait to dig into that. But we're not gonna be eating with you because we have company, so I'm gonna get this back home. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna text Greg my score after I try it. He's gonna put it on the pizza box right there. I'm sure it's gonna be a pretty good rating, and then I'll check in with you guys mm, later. Well, hello there, Mr. Alfie. What you doing? Oh, I think my entire channel could probably just turn into Alfredo running around in his playpen. For those that will ask, I get this question all the time. This is from Clearly Loved Pets. It's called The Penthouse. I think he likes it all right. He didn't like it at first, but I think he's learned to like it. Check this out. One of my friends owns this bread company, which you guys are gonna be seeing in a future video. I'm gonna review it, but it's it's fantastic. And he sent me over an apron. I feel like I look pretty, uh, pretty official in this thing. Oh, you like Mr. Fox, huh? Yeah. Mr. Fox is a good one. Picked up a box of marketing, Life Gingerbread Spice. Life is one of my favorite cereals of all time, but gingerbread spice, like how do you walk by that in a store and not at least give it a try? Can confirm, not marketing. That is awesome. It's all in the clearance rack at Target, so even better. As you can see, we have a very sleepy household today, except for me because I don't get tired. But in reality, Megan has done all of the hard work. She's been nonstop for the last 48 hours, so she deserves a little nap. Now back to the dirty bulking. All of this is a little ironic because I would say my favorite pers favorite fitness personality of all time is Chris Jones, someone who does recommend dirty bulking depending on what stage you're at. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of his before and after of his dirty bulk. And even though I, I love the guy, I just, I just do not agree with his opinion on this. And the last reason I will give you is because I feel like you become very food dependent because there's certain foods that always will taste good. And if you allow yourselves to eat those in whatever quantities that you want, whenever you want, I feel like you're gonna establish this relationship that's going to be hard to get out of when it comes time to cut. Now, for someone like Chris, he's able to do so and get back into it, but I feel like for most people, they're probably gonna, they're gonna fall into some bad habits. And you can really only put on a certain, a certain amount of muscle at one time, so everything above and beyond that is just fat. And then that means you have to cut longer. So what I prefer to do is go into a more moderate bulk and then even do some mini cuts because what I found with the last mini cut that I did is that I wasn't in a deficit long enough to reap any of the bad side effects. So because I wasn't largely overweight and I didn't have to cut that hard, it was just a very small amount of time. I might just be rambling at this point. You guys probably just wanna see more food. So let's get into that. course of this dinner is going to be a bagel sandwich. We got an egg, turkey, cheese, and some barbecue sauce. I'm not good at too many things in the kitchen, but bagel sandwiches, that is one thing I excel at. That's a sandwich right there, guys. Bagel number two is going to be more of a dessert bagel. So we have some PE science sludge right here. And what I'm gonna do is just spread it on like so. And then we're gonna cut a banana onto each side of this guy. And then a little bit of honey drizzle to top it all off. And Alfie is coming in as we speak. How do you do? Alf Alfie's going to the bathroom outside. Awesome job, Alfie. Alfie gets a treat too. This is what Alfie has been liking as his treat for any dog owners out there. Let's get Alfie a treat. Would you like a treat, sir? Yes, please. Alfie's eating good. I'm eating good, cameraman, you eating good today? We all eating good in this household, guys. Help me, help me pick a cookie. No? You want me to eat both cookies? Dad. Okay. So cameraman is on maternity leave until Alfie can become a little bit more, not trustworthy, but we just gotta make sure that he doesn't go to the bathroom all over the apartment, so. You guys are stuck on tripod mode, but we have the V card over here. These are their Valentine's Day cookies, so hopefully you guys got a hot Valentine's Day. And then we got whips and chains. These are just getting raunchy. Oh, I'm, by the smell of it, oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna heat these up for 10 seconds. It's on. 
So we call this the fat and weird trifecta. If I was dirty bulking, I would just eat one container of, the, of this every single day. This is my favorite thing that they have, the cookie butter, it's so good. You know you can always use Travis to save 10% on anything fat and weird. This is the whips and chains. Wow. That right there, they've just made a chocolate chip cookie, taking it to the next level. I always say this, I think that's my new favorite. That's unbelievable, but then, of course, we have dark chocolate with, wait, is this dark chocolate with a cookie inside of, what, what is going on? God bless, guys, God bless. And you know, I think that's going to be the end of the video. Alfie, you wanna sign off for me? He's playing, we'll work his way up there. But thank you all for taking the time out of day to watch. You could have been doing anything. Anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. And those two over there. Say hi, cameraman. Everyone misses hi. you. She'll be back. She has her hands full right now. She's she's got a lot going on. But great to have you guys here. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I would really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talking to you guys next time.